I, Bhavna, Faculty, School of Finance and Commerce, Gilgotias University, Greater Noida, is going to give a presentation on the topic Small Scale Industry. Small Scale Industries have acquired a prominent place in the socio economic development of the country since independence. As we know, that it has contributed to the overall growth of the GDP as well as employment. So, let us discuss more about small scale industries in this presentation. The following are the prerequisites. The first is the labor intensive. As we know, the labor intensive is the percentage of the labor which is used in the production process. The next is the capital intensive. Capital intensive refers to the production process that requires a high percentage of investment in the fixed asset, either in machinery or in any of the fixed assets. Then we should know the different types of industries. As we know that the small scale industries are the one of the main portion of the industrial segment. So the knowledge about all these frames is very much required. The next are the objectives. The following are the objectives of the study. The first objective is to introduce to the small scale industry. The second objective is to classify the small scale industry. The next objective is to understand about the benefits provided by the small scale industries. And the last objective is to understand what are the various limitations which has been faced by the small scale industry. Next, we will be discussing the definition of small scale industries in India. Any industrial undertaking in which the investment in fixed assets in the plant and machinery which are held on the ownership terms or on the lease or on the higher purchase it should not exceed 10 million. So, according to the provision of micro, small and medium enterprise development, the small scale industries can be classified into three different classes. The first is manufacturing enterprises, the next is service enterprises and the last one is auxiliary industries. Manufacturing enterprises are those enterprises which are engaged in the manufacture or in the production of the goods, which are pretending to any industry, which has been specified in the first schedule to the Industrial Development and Regulation Act, 1951. The next are the service enterprises. These enterprises are engaged in providing or rendering the services and they are defined in the terms of the investment in the equipment. The next are auxiliary enterprises. Big companies or MNC which are producing the finished goods, they are in the category of auxiliary industry. The classification of MSMA's classification under the manufacturing enterprise, in the case of micro enterprise, the investment is within 25 lakh. In the case of small enterprise, the investment is within 5 crore and in the case of medium enterprise, the investment is within the 10 crore. Now, this distribution of MSMEs in the manufacturing sector we have discussed. And now we are going to discuss the distribution of MSMEs in the service sector. The existing MSMEs classification in the service sector for this in the micro enterprise, the investment is within 10 lakh. For the small enterprise, the investment is within 2 crore and for the medium enterprise, the investment is under 5 crore. So, as we know that the revised MSME classification has been increased and the investment size has been heightened to bring more companies under this definition. So, the revised classification of MSMEs were for the manufacturing and for the service sector, in the case of micro classification, the investment is 1 crore and the turnover is within 5 crore. For the small enterprises, the investment is within 10 crore and the turnover is 50 crore. And for the medium enterprise, the investment is 20 crore and the turnover is 100 crore. As we know that 
the low threshold were killing the urge to grow among MSMEs as a fear of graduating out of the benefit. The enterprises are engaged in producing or rendering the services and bringing more and more companies under the definition of the MSMEs was the main objective. Additionally, the criteria of turnover has been included in the new definition of investment in the plant and machinery which has been claimed by the enterprises which was completely based on the self authentic As we know that small scale industries are labor intensive, yet it requires a little capital. So small scale industries can either the manufacturing industries or the service provider. Small scale industries comprises of the small enterprises that manufacture the goods and services with the help of small machines, few workers and few employees. Let us move to the examples of small scale industry. The following are the few examples like chalk making, sugar candy manufacturing, wood making, rice mill, liquid soap making, napkins, tissues, chocolate, toothpicks and the small toys. So these are all the examples of the small scale industry. The next is the classification of small scale industries. Small scale industries can be broadly classified as the traditional industries and the modern industries. In the traditional industries, we are having the highly intensive labor and we are having the share of traditional small scale industries is less than the modern small scale industries. In traditional small scale industries, the huge amount of labor will be running the small scale industries and the following are the examples of the few traditional small scale industries like agarbati manufacturing, like manufacturing of the rice mills and liquid soap manufacturing. In the modern industries, we are having a wide range of the goods from comparatively simple items to a sophisticated products like electronic control system and various types of engineering products. In the modern industries, we are having the labor to be employed full time as compared to the part time labor. The modern industries are providing the huge amount of employment to the employees which are working in the small and rural area. Traditional industries include handloom khadi industries, handicraft industries, silk industries. They are all included in the traditional small scale industry. These industries are established in the villages or in the towns and they are very much less capital intensive. So they provide generally a short term employment to the villagers or to the persons which are living in the rural area. And then are the modern small scale industries. The first is small scale industrial undertaking. An industrial undertaking in which the investment in the fixed assets in the plant and machinery, whether held on the ownership term, on the lease, or on the hire purchase, it should not exceed 10 million. The next is the export oriented SSI unit. The export oriented SSI units were introduced in the year 1951. An export oriented unit is one which export at least 30% of its annual production by the end of the third year of the commencement of the production and having the investment not exceeding than 10 million. The next is auxiliary industrial units. An industrial undertaking which are engaged or is proposed to be engaged in the manufacture or the production of the plants and the other parts, components, sub assemblers or rendering the services or undertaking the suppliers or render or forced to supply or render not less than 50% of the production or the service. The next are the tiny enterprises. 
the investment limit in planting machinery with respect to the tiny enterprises is rupee 2.5 million irrespective of the location the next are the small scale business the small scale business they can make an investment up to 5 lakh in the fixed assets including land and building and other type of fixed assets so this limit has raised to 1 million with effect to 1st september 2000 The following are the characteristics of the small scale industry. The first is ownership. The ownership of the small scale industry is within the one individual who is either the sole proprietor or it can be the few individuals in the partnership. The next is management and control. A small scale industry is normally one man show. and in the even in the case of partnership the activities are carried out by the active partner these units are managed in a personalized way and that is why the owner is actively involved in all the decisions which are related with the small scale industry the next is the area of the operation in the area of the operation it is generally localized to the local or regional demand the overall resources at the disposal of the small scale units are very much limited and it is even confined to the various activities at the local level the next is the technology small scale industries are clearly the labor intensive with the comparatively small capital investment than the larger units therefore these units are more suited to the economies where the capital is scarce and more abundant supply of the labor the next are the resources small scale industries use the local resources so it can be located anywhere subjected to the availability of the resources like raw material and labor the next is less gestation period gestation period is that period after which the problem is over and return on the investment starts so the in the case of the small scale industry the gestation period is comparatively less as compared to the large scale units the next is dispersal of units small scale units use the local resources and it can be dispensed over the wide territory so development of the small scale unit in the rural and in the backward areas generally promotes more balanced regional development and that is why it provides the many people who are seeking for the job from the rural areas to the city the last one is the flexibility small scale units as comparative to the large scale unit they are highly reactive and responsive to the socio economic conditions they are more flexible to adapt the changes like new methods of the production and introduction of the new products as we know that the small scale industries plays a prominent role in the indian economy So let us move to the advantages or the benefits of the small scale industry. The first is it provides the employment. Small scale industries they uses the labor intensive techniques. Hence they provide the employment opportunity to the large number of people. It provide employment to the skilled and unskilled people in India. The next is it facilitates the women group. it provides the employment opportunities to the women in india it promotes the entrepreneurial skills among the women as special incentives are given to the women employees the next is it brings the balanced regional development small scale industries promote the decentralized development of the industries as one of the small scale industries which are set up in the backward and rural areas 
it removed the regional disparity by industrializing the rural and backward area and hence it brings the balanced regional development small scale industries promotes the export SSI they does not require any sophisticated machinery and it is not necessary to import the machinery from the abroad so on the other hand there is a greater demand of the goods which is used by the small scale sector small scale industries they reduce the pressure on the country's balance of payment the next is small scale industries they meet the customer demand by providing them a wide range of the products small scale industries meet the demand of the customer without creating a shortage of the goods the next is small scale industries it ensures the social advantage it helps in the development of the society by reducing the concentration of the income and wealth in the few hands so it provides employment to the people and also give them a way to lead an independent life the next is dwell entrepreneurs it helps to dwell a class of entrepreneurs in the society it promotes the self employment and spirit of self reliance in the society so the development of the small scale industries it helps to increase per capita income of the country in many ways here we are discussing the limitations of the small scale industries the first is lack of economies of scale as we know that small scale industries they produce in the small quantity therefore they do not enjoy the economies of the scale in the purchases production and marketing their cost is comparatively higher and they are not able to compete with the large scale units they will be able to survive when many of the items were reserved for the production by the small scale industry so many of the small scale industries has closed down as they are not able to compete with the large scale producers and cheap import from the other country especially china the next is the lower wages many small scale industries are labor intensive and the wages paid to the small scale industries are lower as compared to those who are being paid in the larger scale industries in the small scale industries because of the lack of the safety measures and the proper training to the workers accidents and injuries are most common occur the next is overcrowding in overcrowding the it is very quite easy to set up the small scale industry but the capital requirement is less and the formalities are quite simple so this lead to the intense competition and overcrowding and this can also lead to cut the throat competition which is with affecting their survival the next is in efficiency due to the lack of the scale economies the lower skills and the poorly trained workers and the usage of the outdated technology small scale industries they suffer from inefficiently of the operation their productivity is lower as compared to the large scale industry the next is less of innovation in the small scale industries we can say that they are being suffering from the financial resources so they are not able to invest adequately in the research and development and that is why they are not having the sufficient amount of the adequate technology in which through which they can modernize and they hinders this their competition and capacity to come up with the new products the next is the sickness due to the ease of setting up and because of the intensive available there are many employed youth which can be employed in the small scale industry 
but because of the unemployment youth they are been setting up the small scale industries who are having very lesser knowledge and skill they find it difficult to survive in the business and cut down the production further because of the problem of procuring the finance and use of the outdated technology and lack of the marketing expertise many small scale industries they suffer the losses and they are forced to shut down the next is the inefficiency so inefficiency modernization sickness lack of economies of scale lower wages and overcrowding are the limitations of the small scale industry let us move to few more limitations of the small scale industry the next limitation is less innovative capacity as we know that the small scale industries has limited financial resources therefore they are not able to invest adequately in research and development and as a result they are not able to compete with the modern and the latest technology the next is low capacity utilization in the low capacity utilization as we can see that the capacity utilization is lower and the production capacity remains idle small firms are unable to utilize their full capacity due to the problems which are related to the finance marketing technology and skills the next is low capital productivity the productivity of the labor in the small scale industries is low the reason is that the workers employed in the small scale industries are unskilled having a lack of poor training work on outdated technology so the poor labor productivity result in the lower output increasing the cost of production and the problem in meeting the demands the next is lack of the competitiveness or the low competitiveness due to the small scale the lack of the modern technology the small scale industries are not able to compete with the large scale many items which were reserved for the production of the small scale industries they have been also de reserved the next is lack of the pollution control large scale industries which are polluting in the nature are able to set up the pollution control equipment but the small scale industries are not able to compete to that level from the above discussion we can conclude that the small scale industry plays a strategic role in restructuring and in transforming an economy with a higher labor capital ratio with a shorter gestation period this stimulates the growth of the enterprise and promotes the diffuse pattern of the ownership and location the small scale industries have a spread effect on the domestic market since because they use the most of the domestic inputs and indigenous raw material and the domestic technology so we can say that the small scale industry plays a vital role in expanding the employment opportunity and in increasing the income of the rural community this industry can employ a greater number the workers and its raw material is growing abundantly in india with relatively lesser capital the rural community can build their business and they can also help to promote the employment opportunity i hope that after watching this video on the small scale industry you will be able to understand more about this concept I hope that this video will be helpful in gaining the knowledge about the small scale industries its benefit limitations and classification so it is going to be useful for your academic curriculum for reading this course i hope that this video will be useful for all the students in imparting the knowledge about the small scale industries that how these industries are promoting the various amount of growth factors in india by promoting 
a significant contribution in the Indian GDP and in improving the growth of the Indian economy. At last, I would say that for the progressive growth of the Indian economy, we should promote the development of the small-scale industry. Thank you for watching this video.